So as we look at my hands, my hands are not only contorted in this position, but they're also incredibly tight. It's actually hard to even pull out any of my fingers. On my right hand, I do have kind of a double hinged thumb, if you can see that. That actually has worked out to be um, pretty great to be able to pick up certain things because as you can see, I can open and close that like a little crab hand using my wrist. And what that's called is tenodesis. I'll show you the beer brush right away. And then you can come on in probably. So with the beer brush, what I've done is I've put a cell phone pop-off. I don't know what these are called. Peanut, what are these called? I think they're a pop-up pop-up. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Something you put on your, your cell phone. So that way, when I grab it, I can go ahead and put it in between my fingers like that. So now I have a pretty good hold on it. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. So that's how I do my beer brush. Next is a fork. Next I have my water. Um, this is a tougher one to kind of bring up because my hands are so molded tight. This one I have actually molded um, to be a little bit looser so I can get around bigger objects. And this one I had um, kind of formed to be a little tighter so I could do things like my fork as you noticed. So something like this takes a little courage because what I have to try to do is get this thumb and this finger to go around this bottle so then when it gets up to the lip I can hold it. So a lot of times I have to use leverage My pointer fingers being cantankerous. All right, now I have my finger over it. I've got my thumb over it, and I've got pretty good. At this point, it's really not going anywhere. I got like lockjaw on it. Pretty good. Is that distilled water? Hmm. Lovely. All right, now the maddening Rubik's Cube. So this, I can imagine, sucks for able-bodied people because it's maddening. Um, yeah, I'm done. Okay, right now I'm matching my hand up with Peanut Tan, able-bodied. I'm gonna show that she even has tenodesis as well. If you want to practice this, what you need to do is just put your hand kind of in the same position and just let your fingers kind of just go natural limp. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your wrist down. You see how mine opens up? So does peanuts. And if she goes up slowly like I do, you're going to notice that those fingers contract. And that's how I pick up most of everything.